landslide-related deaths have been increasing since the 1970s. It is estimated that 600 to several thousand fatalities are annually caused by landslides. Unconsolidated material or loose material typically comprises of sand and silt. The angle between a slope and the horizontal is known as the angle of repose. Where fine sand has an angle of repose of 35 degrees and coarse sand that of 40 degrees. Rock formations are a typical example of consolidated material. The foremost effect of landslides is on human life and property. 3.2 billion US dollars worth of property damage is caused annually by landslides. The causes of landslides are lopsided, as some are caused by natural events while others are man-induced events. Gravity causes material to move down slope. This can be ascribed to the larger magnitude of the gravitational forces acting on the resisting forces. As the gravitational forces increase and reach the critical point where the resisting forces are too weak to oppose, the slope will fail, resulting in a landslide. During natural landslide events, the climate and geological setting is of importance. The three main aspects to consider with reference to the geological setting are the water saturation level, seismic activity and volcanism. Areas on slopes where soil and debris is found is also known as overburden. This unconsolidated material is underlain by a geological unit which is erosion resistant. The overburden will get water saturated during the rainy seasons, causing it to slide down the slope as a landslide. Other geological factors contributing to the formation of landslides are weak, sensitive and weathered material, fissured material and constraints in permeability such as infiltration of water into solid rock and discontinuities. In areas where high levels of seismic activity occur, landslides are more prone to occur. As the ground shakes, material moves down the slopes and the pore spaces between the particles are enlarged, allowing for rapid water saturation to occur. The effect of man on the forming of landslides can be easily avoided through careful planning, as the main contributing factor of man-induced landslides are inadequate grading of slopes and water drainage. Mass movement doesn't have any specific global geographic distribution patterns. Capable of occurring at a diverse number of locations, landslides are more prone to occur due to natural causes than human-induced causes. Based on the movement type and speed of the material, geologists are able to name the type of landslide, including fall processes, flow processes, slides, slumps, ground creep, and topple processes. The causing factors which give rise to the occurrence of mass movement are encompassed in three principal considerations. Slope steepness and stability, the nature of the slope material, and the amount of water saturation of the material. Steeper slopes generally cause more instability, making them more prone to landslides. In areas where slopes are being undercut by rivers and waves, slopes are over-steepened. This results in a removal of the slope basis, causing the slope angle and the gravitational force acting parallel to the slope to increase. A landslide's intensity is determined based on the amount of material moved and the velocity at which it moved. Based on this data, landslides are categorized as sluggish, intermediate or catastrophic. Landslides almost always occur in areas which have been previously affected by instability and are not likely to occur without any prior indications, making the prediction of mass-wasting events much easier. The suddenness of a landslide is determined by the movement type. Fall processes are capable of moving up to 80 meters per second, where creep processes occur at average rates of 16 millimeters per year. Earthquakes, 
volcanic eruptions and monsoon rains are all triggers capable of speeding up the rate at which landslides occur. Various methods such as rock bolting, wire mesh, slope reduction, terracing, construction of retaining walls, drain pipes and vegetation are used to obtain surface stability. As water saturation of slope material contributes to most landslides, the effective water drainage of a slope will significantly reduce the occurrence of mass wasting processes. Water can be drained by means of ditches, gutters or drain pipes.